everything you've heard is true. Welcome to A Fan Divided. I'm Holly Mandillo, and in case you've been out of the country, just don't follow baseball in the first few weeks, or have been living under a rock, it's all true. The 2011 Boston Red Sox, once heralded as the greatest team ever, are 2-9 and nine and in last place. Not just last in the American League East, not just last in the American League, they have the worst record in baseball. A start that only the most hardened Red Sox fans could have seen coming from a mile away. It's the old curse mentality rearing its ugly head. We expect bad things to happen, and then they do. Is it a self-fulfilling prophecy? I don't know. I'm not all that superstitious. I mean, during 2004, I didn't sit in the same seat or wear the same clothes. I don't make people stay in the kitchen if the Giants score a touchdown while they happen to be in there getting a beer. But I do believe in the idea of the power of positive or negative thought. So I, for one, will be remaining positive until the bitter end, till we're mathematically out of this. Why? Well, I've learned the hard way. In Super Bowl 35, Giants-Ravens, somewhere in the late third, fourth quarter, there was a moment, and I thought, man, these guys just don't have it. We're gonna lose. And then we did. And I felt guilty for days, weeks afterwards. I still feel a little bit guilty to this day because I felt like I let my team down when they needed me most. And I know, I, I hear it, that's crazy. But it's one of the greatest thrills of being a fan. Being that invested in something, knowing full well that you have no control whatsoever. Well, maybe not no control. I mean, there's a reason why fans cheer. There's a reason why they stand with two strikes and two outs in the top of the ninth. And you can't tell me that in 04, with all those fans standing as one, praying as one, waving those belief signs, that it didn't have some effect. And I'm happy to report that most of the feelings I'm getting from Red Sox Nation are not ones of panic. Should we be panicking? Well, maybe a little on the inside, but it's really not time quite yet. I know we may be sick of hearing it, but it's early. It's a long season. There are 151 games left. We could just as easily go 9-2 and two as we just did 2-9. and nine. And there are other reasons to believe. First of all, we play better as the underdog. Always have, probably always will. So like I said last time, we've got them right where we want them. Plus, now thanks to a contract extension, we have Adrian Gonzalez right where we want him for the next seven years. And weather seems to be on our side. If it wasn't for the rain out on Wednesday, we could very likely be two and 10. And now we get to play that game against the Rays in the middle of the summer when hopefully we're red hot. And we know in our division that one win could make all the difference in the world. Plus things could be worse. I was watching the Phillies Nationals game last night and I thought, thank God the Yankees didn't get Cliff Lee. Can you imagine? So thank you, Phillies. And if this all turns out well, if somehow they're able to come back, imagine the story it will be. Remember the time the Red Sox started 0-6 and we were all panicking but trying not to, and then they came back and want... Well, you know what? Never mind. I don't want to jinx it. The Red Sox are going to be here in LA next week to play our Los Angeles Angels of Anaheim. I never get tired of saying that. But I'm still debating on whether or not to go. You see, every time I've seen the Red Sox play here in LA, they've lost. And not only can we not afford another loss, I certainly don't want to be personally responsible for one. All right, maybe I'm a little superstitious, but who isn't? Either way, regardless of where you are, Red Sox fans, this is the time when they need us most. It is the time to stay positive. It is the time to stay faithful because that is the one thing we can do as fans. It's time to believe. Until next time, I'm Holly Mandillo, and I am a fan divided.